Hello, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, my name is Indigo from Indigo Goddess 1111, and I am going to bring you a special February 14th love reading. Um, it will go by elements, so we will go air, water, fire, um, earth. Maybe not necessarily in that order, but um, I will pull an overall situation card, um, and then a card for each sign. And then I will incorporate a couple other decks and, of course, the Romance Angels. So, we will get started. We'll go ahead and start with, we'll go with Air Signs today, starting off. So, that is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, Spirit and Angels, can I get a card for each sign, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, and Queen of Wands. And your overall card is Strength. Air Signs, absolutely beautiful. Let me shut this. Maybe that'll help. Ooh, help the glare. Got too much sun today. Gee, I don't know. That makes it worse or better? Well, we'll have to adapt, I guess. <laughs> Because I don't want to reshuffle these because these are amazing cards. So, Gemini, you have the Strength card with the Ten of Cups. I don't know if that can get any better. Um, you're going to have a beautiful day. You're going to be spending it with loved ones, family, um, the person you love, your children. Um, you are just going to have an amazing day. It doesn't get much better than that. For Libra, some of you are getting engaged today, so you will also be experiencing a very exciting day. Um, could either be um, getting engaged or making a, a relationship official, um, going from you know just dating to exclusive. Um, overall, it's nothing but positive. Aquarius. You have the King Queen of Wands. So you are just fiery. You are passionate today. You are um, making it very clear to your loved ones um, that you pick them. You're beautiful. Um, you're you're just full of passion. You guys could be dealing with a Leo as well. Okay. Okay, so, Gemini, you also have the Knight of Wands. So, you could be getting a surprise. It could be from a fire sign. Um, they are going to move in fast and show you a Knight of Passion. They're going to surprise you with something. Um, something you didn't see coming, which is very exciting. Um, for a group of you, Gemini, I also see you guys getting engaged today. Um, and they'll surprise you with something big. It's going to be grand. Like, you know, like it's going to be on a billboard in New York City or something. You know, like something big. Like they're going to let everybody know that you are their Ten of Cups. For Libra, you have the Six of Wands. So you, the Six of Wands with the Four of Wands, you are screaming nothing but success today. You are so happy. You two are so connected, so in love. Um, and it's going to get hot tonight. You are going to, um, become committed one way or another, whether it be just, um, dating or engaged. Some of you could be eloping today. Um, but either way, you are getting everything you have wanted. And Aquarius, you have the two of wands, so you are very passionate. It's going to be a there is so much fire here. It's going to be just you two getting to know each other, um, talking all night long, sharing an intimate dinner, um, sharing an intimate date, and they are going to be so sexually attracted to you. It's insane. Like there is nothing, absolutely nothing bad in this reading whatsoever. 
Okay, your advice from the angels. What advice? Oh, oops. Oh my goodness. And for Libra, what advice do you have for Libra? Oh. And okay. Oh, they're saying that one is not the right one. Which that was a good one too, I thought. <laughs> okay, what does Aquarius need to know, angels? What do they need to know today on Valentine's Day? All right. So, Gemini, you got wedding. So, this situation involves a marriage. So, like I said, you could be with your spouse, um, your Ten of Cups person um for another group of you i told you they're going to propose it's going to be big it's going to be huge you're going to be so surprised and your end result to this valentine's day is you are going to be getting married libras pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you and chemistry there's a strong magnetic connection between the two of you and that's what i said with this card they are going to be so all over you, <laughs> but, um, there could be possibly some red flags. So beware of those, but overall, I don't see any, any problems, um, to this connection. None whatsoever. You are going to be very, very surprised today. And Gemini children, your child or your love life is being affected by children. So, um, with, for this group of you, you could have a hard time, like intimately connecting with your partner because you do have children and you are forgetting to take the time to set, um, aside special, um, moments to share with your partner. And you guys are really going to take the children somewhere else. And you two are going to really connect on a new level uh, tonight. And like I said, you are just on fire, hot, like they're going to see you in a, in a new light today. That's what I get. So that's what I have for you. Air signs. Holy crap. I don't think, I don't think that one can be beat. That was, that is an amazing read. Okay. We'll go with earth signs next. Let me just do a couple quick shuffles here. And if you are not already dating somebody, seeing somebody, married to somebody, etc., um, this reading is not for you. I'm going to do a singles reading as well. So if you are not dating somebody, not seeing anybody, um, this reading will not pertain to you unless you are um, like married but separated. So you are technically single, but you're still connected. If it resonates, you'll know. This will not resonate with everybody, but I am going to do a singles one next. So you feel free to watch both of them and whichever one you connect to more, um, then that was for you. So spirit has a funny way of doing that. They lead you and guide you to what readings you need to hear. Okay. Spirit and angels. Can I get a card for earth science? Oops, not ready. Earth science will go Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in that order. A card for each one in their Valentine's Day with their partner. Okay. Ooh, Virgos not having a good a day as our air sign friends, but I don't think that would be possible. They have an outstanding reading. So your overall um, situation is the fool. A lot of you are going to be um, starting off fresh and new and um, leaving some people behind. For Capricorn, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So you are definitely um, definitely not happy with the family life that you have right now. Um, you could be hoping and wishing you could break free, start something new with somebody. But for some reason, you are still stuck in that uh, 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For another group of you, you are in the middle of a divorce. So you're technically still coupled, but you are unhappy. Can I get a clarifying card for the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Most definite. Yep. So somebody from your past, your your lover, your spouse, um, your they stepped out on you or you on them. Mm -hmm. And you are going now through a divorce. Um, you're unhappy. You um you trusted this person, and now you are setting out on the new journey as the fool. For Taurus, you have the nine of wands. So you're busy defending this relationship that you are currently in. And one of you um, is wanting to uh, break free and be single. Why is this nine of wands here for Taurus? Very heavy energy, Taurus. You're just tired. You're tired of battling. You're tired of fighting for this connection, I feel. You or the person you're with. Yeah. Look at that. Three of swords popped out. So you are tired of the heartache. You are tired of the broken promises and um, the third party energy, you know, and let's click. Oh, wow. Okay. So you also have the death card here. So you're ending a transition in your life. You are ready to escape this heartache. You are tired you are worn out. You feel like you're the only one fighting for this connection and all you're getting is heartbreak. So you are going to um, be exiting this as well and be starting out as the fool. Um, I also got the seven of pentacles here. So you're tired of waiting around for your partner to get their shit together. They could be uh, being cold to you as well. I'm getting for a group of you. But you're nearing that completion point because you have the nine of wands and um, and then the death card. So the, the burden is about to be released, Taurus. Man, this is a heavy, heavy Valentine's Day reading. Virgos, you are up in your head on to whether to stay or whether to go. Do you start out as the fool or do you stay and try to make it work? Why is this Nine of Swords here for Virgos? Okay. So you are trying to decide whether you want to be the divorcee, whether you want to leave somebody, because your cup is no longer filled. You are emotionally drained, and um, you don't know whether this relationship is for you or not. Um, so you are contemplating working your way towards uh, becoming single and yeah that's heavy for another group of you though Virgo you are concerned you are in your head about um, an air sign female that you are connected to you are worried they are wanting to leave because you no longer fulfill their emotional needs but for the majority of you, I feel this is uh, a Virgo male um, debating whether to leave his spouse. Let's clarify this with some uh, tarot sexual magic. I get one card for each sign, please. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Okay. So like I said, Capricorn, you are in the middle of a divorce. Justice is here. Um, things will work out. They will balance out for you. Um, yeah, that is exactly what I was picking up. So, um, every ending has a, uh, beautiful new beginning. So take that fool energy and start working in the direction you want your life to go is what I'm hearing spirit say. And to not worry because I see a lot of worry around this 10 of pentacles. You're worried about money. It is going to work out in your favor with the justice and the upright Capricorn. Taurus, you do have the ace of cups. So there is some, um, there is a chance for a new love to come in. Once you get out of this transition, once you let this cycle 
end and heal from this heartache, I do see a chance for a new love. You may meet them or may not meet them tonight. Um, but you have to release and then you can have this new beginning, this fresh start with somebody and it will be successful for you, Taurus. For the Virgos, you have the Six of Cups. So you are still thinking of this person. You may be separated from this person. You may not be talking, but your thoughts are still around your past. So you actually could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. They have the Six of Cups in reverse. But um, yeah, there somebody is in your head. Um, you can maybe can't get over or you're scared to leave the person you're with because you're remembering all the good times. Or you're considering leaving the person you're with because you're thinking of somebody that was from a third party. You actually could be connected to Taurus because they do have the third party heartbreak. So um, th this could be your spouse or your um, third party. But your mind is on somebody else tonight. <clears throat> Can I get um, advice from you guys? Angels. Woo. Capricorn, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So um, their advice to you is just to forgive and learn from this um, ex that you're dealing with, that you're separating from. And it's going to um, cause you to be able to experience more love. Taurus, you got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. And I believe that will be with this new person that you will have a chance at that Ace of Cups with. I do not believe this is the person you are connected with right now or that you are in separation from. I, for a group of you, there that you are in separation. And Virgo. What advice do you have for Virgo, angels? Children, your love life is being affected by children. And um, who just got that? Was it Aquarius? Oops. Um, for this group of you, though, I am hearing from Spirit that you are holding off leaving this person because you have children with them. You are stuck in your head. You are worried. You are um, anxious. You don't know what will happen. And um, it's causing you... Um, anxiety and uh, just really a lot of fear because you are worried about your children. So that's all I have for you guys. Earth signs. I'm sorry. It was kind of all three of you guys seem to be going through some rough times in love. But um, the good thing is, is you have the fool. So you have a opportunity and a chance for new beginnings, brand new start, clean slate. And um and those will be successful if you um, release and heal and let the universe do their work in divine timing. So I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day. Like I said, I hate, I hate delivering a negative love read on Valentine's Day. But that is for the collective. And obviously Spirit felt you guys needed to hear that. So we will do... What do we got? We did Air Earth. Let's do Fire next. That is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Spirit Angels, can I get one card per sign? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in that order. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we have the Ten of Pentacles as our overall situation. So a group of you, um, fire signs, you feel like there's anxiety over money is what I'm hearing. So, you know, you guys might not have a lot of money to spend on your significant other. Um, you're worried that they are thinking about somebody else. I don't know where that just came from, but... 
Um, for Aries, you have the Six of Cups in reverse. So this is somebody from your past. Could be past lives. Um, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Uh, you're worried about if you guys are going to come together or not. Leo, you guys have the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in. So you have set your intention out there and you are just waiting to hear back from a earth sign as well. Um, the magician in reverse could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Um, I'm hearing though that it won't be tonight, but um, it will be coming soon. I'm going to clarify the six of cups too. Ooh, the five of wands. Yeah, Aries, you could be um, dealing with um, other people are meddling in your uh, relationship. This could be internal conflicts on whether um, this person is going to come back to you or not. Um, Sagittarius, you look beautiful. <laughs> you are in your element. You are temperance. You are balanced, healed, ready for love. Um, <clears throat> you also could be dealing with a earth sign. You could be waiting for this earth sign to offer you the Ten of Pentacles. But either way, you are healed. You are beautiful, balanced, patient. And you have the fool. Oh my goodness, look at that. Sagittarius, you have healed from your past relationships. You are just... This is so awesome. <laughs> and here are fresh new beginnings. Ready. The fool is ready for you. Whether there is anybody there or not, you are going to set out on a fresh new start. And you're going to make your own damn Ten of Pentacles is what I'm hearing. Yep, because you are you are being pulled in two different directions. You are being juggled by somebody and you are no longer going to put up with that. And you're going to get your own Ten of Cups. I do see, however, though, somebody is coming in to give this to you. It is a Earth sign. Sagittarius may not be today, but look at these amazing cards that you have. The Fool, Temperance, and the Ten of Cups. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. I pulled so many for them because I always clarify Major Arcana. Um, and since you had two, I pulled two. And it's my reading. I can do what I want, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's clarify with the deck of sexual magic here for our fire sign viewers. I get one card per sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in that order. Spirit, please and thank you. Okay. Okay. So, Aries, you guys have the Four of Pentacles. So, you are just kind of, I don't know, you are uninterested. You may be hooking up with somebody that you aren't wanting to be with. Um, you're thinking of this person, and you are just sitting here. Um, I mean, you can see how he's into her, and she's like, eh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay for me, I guess. You know, so um, you are just, you're just there with somebody you're not really connecting on a sexual or um physical level you're just exhausted is what i'm hearing so i guess you i mean you may be hooking up with somebody tonight but it's just somebody to hook up with um leo you guys are going to be hooking up and hooking up hot you have the ten of wands which is a very intense fiery passionate you can't wait to get back to your house because that you are so attracted to them that you're just going to do it wherever you can. So, um, go you, I guess. <laughs> and Sagittarius, you guys have the Ace of Swords. So once again, a, a new beginning based on truth and you clearly are getting what you want. If you see that picture in the back. Very hot in nature, kind of kinky, but um, overall, Sagittarius, you guys have an amazing reading. Um, Aries and Leo, yours is okay, but for Aries, I'm just getting that you're just, you're 
doing whatever you got to do until the person you're thinking of comes back. And for Leo, you are waiting for that person who I see is at a distance from you. You're not sure if they're going to make it to you today, um, but they're going to make it. They're going to surprise you. So you are waiting for someone at a distance. Also, you're going to be making long-term plans, Leo. You are going to be making long-term plans with your lover, your significant other. Um, it just may not happen as fast as you'd like it to because the pentacles are slow-moving energy. So angels, what advice do you have for our Aries friends? What advice? Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So what I'm getting for this group of you is um, that person you're thinking of in the past, that six of wands that is in the reverse could be from a past life. They, they are real. They are worth, um, they are worth bringing to their attention and you will be amazed when you start exploring that love that you feel for them. And you don't need this blah energy, this, um, just there because you need somebody there. How about Leo's angels? What messages do you have for Leo in their love life on Valentine's day? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, very nice. Very nice, guys. You are just going to be very flirty and playful. You're going to be happy that your person um, showed up and surprised you. And it's just going to get really intense. Okay. Angels, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? on their Valentine's Day in regards to their love. What advice do you... Whoa, way too many. <laughs> so Sherry's just don't want to pop out here. Make sure you also check out your moon rising and um, Venus signs as well, especially Venus as today is the day of love and Sagittarius just don't want a card to come out, but definitely check your Venus signs. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we got very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So for a group of you, you could be in separation from somebody. You had to separate, to heal, to get balance, to um, find patience. And you need to make it very clear to the universe who you're wanting so they can bring it in. And you can get this new fresh start with a fool. For another group of you, you got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you are going to um, start off for this group of you. You are going to take a holiday. You are going to come back into contact, back into a relationship with a Ten of Pentacles, a Earth sign. Um, and you guys are going to be traveling today. So that is what I have for fire signs. Overall, good reading. Sagittarius, yours was amazing. Um, and Leo, yours was great as well. Um, Aries, you are dealing with some internal conflicts and possible um, outside people trying to interfere. But at the end of the day, I see you two making it through just fine. So um, maybe a rough day, maybe a rough week, but I do see you guys getting back together or staying together with that earth sign. Okay, water signs. Let's get started here. Spirit and angels, can I get a card for each zodiac sign? Starting with, oops, I didn't start yet. Starting with Scorpio, then Cancer, then Pisces. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. One card for each, please. Uh, 
Okay. Oops, sorry. I always draw from the bottom. My bad. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, the overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. So for a group of you, you're um, not balanced, not stable, um, kind of living in a fairyland. Um, for another group of you, you are coming out of being single. Scorpio, you have the Six of Pentacles. So you are in a very balanced relationship. It's an equal give and take. Um, yeah, you guys are just full of love. Um, you guys are going to decide to make this exclusively dating with your partner. Um, also could be with an earth sign for cancer. You have the knight of swords, so you are cutting somebody off today. Um, you are either, or you are coming in with fast information and you are going to break up with somebody or you are going to come in surprising somebody and making um, this this commitment um, exclusive. I know there's a lot of situations, but I'm reading for a lot of people, so I want to put it all out there. Um, let me clarify that Knight of Swords quick. Oops, there we go. Oh, King of Swords in reverse. Um, for the majority of you, I see breakups. I see somebody being cold and heartless. Um, lots of air. This is definitely somebody... Um, either with air in their charts or this is you, but you guys are at a distance from each other. So you weren't going to be spending Valentine's day with each other anyways. But, um, for a group of you now, this is not all Scorpio or not all cancer, but for a group of you, you will be breaking. Somebody will be breaking up with you or you are breaking up with them for another group of you. You are going to come in and just lay it out all on the table. Like, this is me. This is what I want. Do you want me? Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm getting that energy as well. Pisces, what the heck? You got the three of swords today. Oh my God, and the tower. Okay, so you guys, um, for a group of you, unfortunately, you are going to have a huge shakeup today. And it is involving a definite earth sign. You have the page of pentacles. Um, very immature. You're dealing with somebody who's very immature. You also could have children. Um, but I don't like the looks of these two cards. Not, not today. Oh shit. And then you got the moon in reverse. Secrets are coming out. What's done in the dark always comes to light. And unfortunately it is coming to light. And it is with somebody that you've been with for a very long time. Somebody from your past. Oh my goodness. Pisces. I am so sorry. Secrets are coming out. The tower is here. And the three of swords. Okay. Can I get one card for each sign? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. In that order, please. And this is going to cause you a sense of instability, instability, um, Pisces. You just feel like you had the freaking ground swept out from underneath you. Okay. Scorpio, you're still looking good. You have the wheel of fortune. So, um, good, good karma is coming your way. You also have the queen of chalices, which is the queen of cups which you are emotionally, um, sexually, physically satisfied. You are getting what you have wished for. You are getting good karma is finally coming your way. You are going to be in a fair and balanced relationship. And, um, and they totally fill your cup and more. <laughs> Cancer, you have the seven of wands in a, the reverse. So yeah, this is somebody that is no longer like protective of the relationship. This is somebody who wants out, um, and is no longer standing up for this relationship. And I feel that that's, um, where the breakup's going to come in. They are done. Um, or this could be you cancer. 
and Pisces. You have the five of wands. So somebody's lurking. Um, I'm seeing that for a group of you, this is you and you are catching your partner with somebody else. That's what's coming to light and causing you heartache. Or for another group of you, you are the one having the affair. It's coming to light. It's going to cause heartache and the tower to come down. So, tough energy there for Pisces. Taurus and Virgo also had a, a rough reading. Angels, what advice do you have for Scorpio for today, Valentine's Day, in love? I'm sorry, I don't want to, like, be so negative, but um, what I see comes out, I feel I have the obligation to give it to you guys honest and real. Just because it's Valentine's Day, I don't want to foo-foo it up. And then... Um, you be blindsided. These are the messages spirit brings to me. And um, so I bring them as I, as I get them. But I'm so sorry for those of you going through this. What a, what a hard time. Okay, Scorpio, you have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So let karma do its thing. Um, it's coming to you. The wheel is turning. You have good fortune in your grasp. And um, just let it flow. Or Cancer, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you to a new romance. So let this person go. It isn't worth it. Um, just be optimistic. And um, love will come your way. And for Pisces, trust. This situation is having calling for you to have faith. Um, now, this is not necessarily trust in your partner, but trust in the universe, trust in karma, trust in divine timing, just trust the universe. Everything happens for a reason, and this situation is calling for you to have faith in your higher power, faith in the, the universe and everything above, because um, you will get the love that you deserve. It just may not be with this person, so... I hope you guys all have a wonderful and beautiful and loving Valentine's Day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on my channel. And I will see you guys next time. God bless.